And we're back with some more oxygen not included. And today, well, we're not going to be doing too much work on our home planet. That's that's mostly sorted for now. What we really want to do here is, well, get away from our home planet and go to Blama the oil planet, whatever. We've got a ship in orbit and we want to land duplicates down on this planet. Now, we were initially going to land over here, but since we found this newer location, I think this is going to make a better stopping point. It's time to get prepped. First thing we want to do is land down the orbital cargo module. Now, I believe the way this works is we just click deploy, and then... Okay. I think that was it. And, oh, here we go. Okay, so it basically fires them like interplanetary payload launchers. Each one of these should now contain about 200 of the resources we sent over, and we sent over 800 kilos of copper, so there's now 800 kilos of copper ore sitting, or copper, refined copper, sitting on the planet. Now all we gotta do is send someone down to actually use that. Uh, we're gonna send in Brendan. Well, actually, we'll send in Brendan once they wake up. Come on, buddy, what are you at? Stamina's at 100%. Uh, ooh, actually, we should make sure you get a second rad pill into as well. Uh, once they wake up, we could wake them up now, but we wanna wait until they get a rad pill into them, because I'm pretty sure the surface of this planet is not too friendly, is it? 218 rads per cycle. All right, well, uh, go grab yourself a rad pill once that current one wears off, and once you do, we'll uh, send you down to the planet. Brandon has gotten around to taking a rad pill, then we're going to get them to put on an oxygen mask. Go on, go put that on now. Perfect, now let's change your schedule to make sure you're good for working all day. We wanna make sure your schedule is, ooh, actually this might be our best one. Yeah, we'll make it this one. This one's the furthest one down, which means they should have the most amount of work before they need to take a, a nap or go to sleep or anything. All right, Brendan. Oh, what? What are you doing? Oh, God damn it. I said... Put on the mask. Perfect. There we go. <laughs> they just never do what you want. Oh, uh, yeah, Brendan. We are going to deploy you to the planet's surface. Now, I'm thinking, oh, we do want to settle over here, so we'll put that there? Or, why can't I see the ship? I I think I already hit the button though, so it should be landing, right? Yep, there we go. Here she comes. Perfect. Now, if I had been playing this smarter, I probably just would have sent over two duplicates and two trailblazer modules, but we wanted to try something new. We're going to deconstruct that, and then we're going to empty that storage. It turns out you can empty these storages without actually, you know, having a machine to do it. Your duplicate will basically just run over and start just... What, what are you doing? Come on. Yeah, see? They can actually open that thing up even though they're facing the opposite way and all the bolts are flying in that direction. Right, and where's the last one? Oh, there's one over here as well. You know, we'll empty that storage. We need them to get this all done though before they run out of oxygen. How, how much oxygen have they gotten left in that? 15.3 kilos in that oxygen tank. That's... Fine. And now we have 600 kilos. All we need is another 200 and we should be able to produce a rocket platform. So once you've opened this up, we're gonna get you to build a rocket platform. Come on, just, just hurry along. Don't don't think about the crushing weight of suffocation and dying alone on this planet. It'll be grand. Grand, I tell you. All right, and done. Perfect. Now, yeah, we just wanna put that, say, about... Oh, I think there's good. Well, we don't want the rocket exhaust to be cooking the, the surface too much. Uh, grab that ore. Perfect. Then all we need to do after that, well, once that's built, is we're going to want to put down some ladder segments. That's sedimentary rock, or we got them there. Oh, you know what, we'll open the doors. Yep, perfect. Sedimentary rock, good to go. There, so long as they can get that finished before their oxygen runs out, it should be fine. There's even a little bit of oxygen in here, so I don't think that they, they shouldn't have any oxygen problems. They should be able to go back in here if we really need it, but I prefer them to get that done before they need to get a night's sleep or anything like that. Uh, at the same time, once that's done, I think we can start landing people. Come on. Minor radiation sickness. How? Oh, well, yeah. You're exposed to absolutely chronic amounts of radiation out there. That is that is pretty nasty. Even with a rad pill, they're still getting hit hard. Oh, oh. Our gas mask has run out. Let's check. Uh, oxygen mask. Wait, it still says oxygen tank is 15.3 key. Well, from what I can tell, there's no way to tell how much oxygen is one of those things. We want to keep their clothing on, but unequip the suit. Yeah, those gas masks definitely count as a suit. All right, then they can pop up there and put in the last few segments. Once their eyes stop glowing green, then once they've got... I think, can they do all these three? Yeah, once I assume we'll land the ship. And just as they finish that off, it's time to queue up some more work down here. We would like a, an algae diffuser, just so that way they can get some oxygen down here. Uh, there's not that much algae on the planet. Oh, that reminds me, I should make sure this ship has sweep only on its algae storage. And that is a mistake, that should be made out of copper. There's copper locally available in here, and I should make sure, there we go, oxygen production also made from copper. 
Uh, anything else that's the emergency style? No, those should be priority six. The moment we want oxygen production, just prioritize massively. Queue up a few more dig commands just to make sure there's something to do, and finished. All right, let's land the rocket. Time for the rest of you to start helping out. We will change direction, and why don't you all hop down onto the planet's surface? Let's get a good view of that landing. Ah, there we go. Perfect, come on. Okay, you're just gonna appear out of nowhere. That is fine by me. Uh, should we keep them inside the rocket? Let's wait until the steam has... Actually... Ooh, yeah, no. We'll leave you all as crude. I don't want any of you leaving. Where are you going? No, 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 no. Stay indoors. Stay indoors for now. I don't want them going outside, because, you know, it's a little bit steamy. They'll get themselves scalded. All right, we'll give them a minute. Once the steam's dissipated into the vacuum of space, which should take no time at all. Perfect. Then they can all go outside. Do what you gotta do. They should come down here and help out. Let's get this little colony running. One of our dupes is just about to go to the bed there, Brendan. And you'll notice there's a shine bug waiting for them. Well, no, no, I've learned my lesson on these ones. Just, just take care of the problem now. Yep. Uh, damn it, Brendan's already got the negative debuff from that unrested too bright. Well, sorry about that. You're going to be a little bit stressed for the next 0.7 of a cycle. But it's okay. It's okay. All right, I'm thinking for, well, long-term planning, very long-term, we're going to want to dig all the way across here and gain access to these other biomes for the, the mealwood seeds and a few other bits and bobs. Uh, we also need to seal off this cool steam vent, which is going to cook the area if we're not careful. As well as that, I'd like to put in a fridge in here. We could maybe use this little liquid blob as an airlock to make ourselves a nice, uh, pretty long-term fridge storage unit, though uh, I don't think that's a hugely important thing. But the gases down here are becoming a problem, and power. Power, we actually have more options available to us than before. Uh, namely, we've got soft launch, which means build a launch pad on a new world, which is fine. That one was easy enough to do, we just did it, but super sustainable has been completed. As in, we have generated enough electricity using, well, just hydrogen. We've basically used hydrogen and some hamster wheels, and that's all of how we got all the power. So we can generate power using anything we want now. So I'm thinking we put down a coal generator here. How much coal have we got in this planet? We should have plenty. Uh, five tons of coal? Yep, yeah, I'm thinking that's a good bet. In fact, oh, we're gonna need ourselves a smart battery. And you know what we need for a smart battery? We need a whole bunch of, well, refined metal. And we have 400 kilos of copper ore. I think we can throw ourselves down a smart battery and the automation necessary. That should be fairly handy. Now, I just got to finish coring out this area and figure out where we're going to put everything. We're going to put in a gas pump down here. And then we're going to run a whole ventilation thing all the way up to space to dump all that stuff into space. But I think before we do that, we're going to want to insulate. This place is getting incredibly toasty. So I'm just going to let you finish off this bit, which I probably should not have actually queued up at all just yet. And once you're done with that, then we'll put in the insulation. All right, we don't have enough resources to make the smart battery just yet, but what we can do is just insulate this in. It's definitely getting problematic. We might have to dig in a bit across the top as well to just make sure none of that heat escapes. Dear Lord, that's getting toasty. Well, that's fun. We've got some pressure damage going on because we've got 1,500 kilos of water. Or we could just destroy the water. I think we might just destroy it. It is leaking down here and uh, we can deal with that inconvenience later. But maybe, yep, there we go. Done. Problem solved. It's not the cleanest way. We did lose some water, but I am okay with that. We are slowly going to have to dig our way around all of this. Oh, this is going to take a while, isn't it? Oh, first, let's make sure no one's stepping in that water anymore. Go and mop that up if you wouldn't mind. While we're uh, busy doing this, we might as well... Mm, damn it. One second. We might as well grab ourselves a whole bunch of algae. There's loads of it over here, and we can use this to top up our oxygen supplies. Though I'm starting to get worried about calories. We're down to 100,000, which sounds like a lot, but realistically, each one of these is going to consume 6,000 calories a cycle. And we still have to fly a bunch of these home as well, so... Yeah, not, not too hopeful on that front. Hey, guys, does uh, someone want to start fertilizing those plants over there? We're going to need a whole bunch more of those mealwood seeds if you want to keep a self-sustaining colony over here. I think we've managed to contain the worst of the heat. heat. I'm going to have to do just a little bit more here to be, well, happy. Though we're still going to be burning some heat out here. It's just I don't want to go tackling that chlorine just yet. Instead, what we're going to do is we're going to run a gas pipe. Oh, actually, first we should probably mop up all that water. I think we're good with water spillage for a while. 
we're going to run a gas pipe all the way up here to pump out all of that nasty gases because we're probably going to let in some more. Not just carbon dioxide, but we're also going to be letting in chlorine. So let's just take care of that now. now once Brendan has taken a nap, they're our best constructor. Uh, yeah, Brendan over here. Once they've taken their next nap, we're going to send them on a little bit of a, jo a jo jaunt to go grab these interplanetary payloads. In fact, we may just make a... Ooh, a payload opening thing. That might be an idea. It appears these things now require 120 watts. Before they used to be manually operated, if I recall. So we'll power that up and then uh, we'll give Brendan a gas mask and send them on their way. In fact, hmm. They, no, I don't think they could jog the whole way there without running out of breath. We're going to have to use some of the, uh, the oxygen masks we brought with us to have a hope of this working. Brendan is awake. First thing we're going to do is we're going to get him head straight up to the spaceship. And once they're inside the door, we're going to lock it behind them because that's how we roll around here. Where, where, where are you going? Supplying construction materials. You know what? It's fine. You can just stay inside. Actually, we'll have that as uh, passing down through the door is permit. Nope. We're just going to make sure that person doesn't go any further. There, there's fine. Okay, Brendan, we are going to want you to equip a gas mask. Uh, yep. Brendan there can go grab it. They should run straight into the ship to pick it up. Once they've got that done. Once they've got... Come on. There you go. Boom. Then all we have to do is go back outside and make sure that's their next task. So we're going... Nope. Ready to unpack. Ooh, should we get them? I kind of feel like we should come out here and actually just empty them. If we empty them, instead of bringing them back, we can grab both of them at the same time and make something that costs 400 in refined metal and have them bring back that 400 in refined metal. Brandon, where are you, buddy? Oh, they're on their way out the door. Perfect. Nope, 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 nope. Damn it. It's fine. They are building the gas vent. That is not what we want. You know what? There you go. Now you have no choice. Perfect. They'll go unpack those and bring them back. That should get us the necessary copper ore to make ourselves some refined metal to do up some smart batteries. And done. All right. Now, can we... Do we risk getting them to activate the minipod? I kind of want them to do that. That would be handy if they could do it. Can you do that? They still seem to have gas on them, so... Or oxygen. Though I can't trust this thing. It still says 20 kilos and last... Hmm... You know what, if we maybe select another duplicate first and then go back to maybe it'll update the contents of the gas tank. I think what's happening is when you click on a duplicate and look at their stats, it doesn't refresh again until you click off them maybe. 9.6 kilos. Yep, so you have to click away and then click back. They've got 9.6 kilos right now. Down, 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 down. And... Oh wow, that's going to take a while. Seriously? C come on. Done. Ooh, okay, we're going to get you to take all of that. Hmm. Actually, we should air this place out. I'm just thinking, if we leave the door open, all of these nasty gases can escape. That might be an idea. Hmm. Assuming we have time to let them do that. And then we, once... Come on, get out of there. Uh, choose a blueprint. Oh, excellent. Oh, they've got iron here and everything. We could bridge another duplicate, but I think that's a little bit early. We'll... We'll take the iron. We'll find a use for it here. And then we're going to have to queue up some construction projects back here. Something that costs 400 refined metal. Well, the only thing I could find that was uh, that much was the solid rocket port unloader under shipping. That takes 400 refined metal. All right, buddy. Let's see how you're doing on oxygen. Your oxygen at 5.7 kilos. Yeah, you got a little bit left. Okay, done. And you know what? We're going to run you to over here first. That's where the furthest piece of copper is away. I learned this from RimWorld. Okay. Grabbing the copper. And then once you're standing over the other piece, what we'll do is get you to drop the current copper. And then you pick up both of them. Nice. Okay. Now once they get all the way back to base there, we can let them right back in. In fact, let's just open the doors now. Done. And we have successfully managed to bring back the copper. We're not going to build this, we're just going to use that for uh, our smart batteries down here. Well, Brendan's mask ran out of juice, so we're just going to send them back down here to make our battery. Perfect. Once this is done, we can uh, finish off the gas pipes and hopefully make this place livable. And we get 100,000 calories. Slowly but surely we're getting there. Though the hard part is going to be grinding over here. Mm. We need to get all the way over to the... Yeah, we need to get all the way over to this, because at some point we're going to want to print stuff over here, like, I don't know, food, resources, more duplicates, that kind of thing. 
In fact, let's start wrenching as well. We want to get our hands on those Drekos. There's one, two, three. We got four Drekos here. Yeah, we should fly back home with those. I just got Tugboat over here trying to go and do a little bit of relaxation by the by the printing pod. Yeah, I I, I changed the door permissions. No one's allowed in there anymore. That's just... I didn't think about that. They like to relax by the door pod when they don't have any recreational buildings around. Well, they do have a water cooler, but it's in the uh, it's in the Great Hall, so they don't really consider that recreation. We should probably make them a dedicated recreation to stop them doing that, because when we do break in there, we're still going to have to do with all those nasty gases. Uh, we'll start something out. First off, I just want to finish this off down here. We have currently got this fueled up. In fact, we can get rid of that battery up there. We are good. We now have coal power, so this place can run on coal. Have a smart battery controlling its on and off switch, which should be just about hitting. Boom. Perfect. And when that hits at 95%, it turns off. And once it hits 80%, it turns on. Finished. Problem solved. Now let's hook everything up. Uh, yeah, you can go to there. Oh, you can also go to there. I think. I think that's good enough for now. Um, Gas pipe. We want to make sure we put some automation on there. We'll just use a little bit of copper. And done. And we could use a sort of sensors, but I think they require plastic or, but well, I'm not bothered. We'll do a little bit of manual scooping out for now. Back on our home planet. Okay, what got entombed? Something got entombed? Oh, yeah, we'll dig those up. I've basically been, I've cleared out this place. There is no stone hatches over here anymore. I've moved them over to a new ranch over here. I've also got another ranch we've put down here just so we can migrate some of these. I just want more of this area to be freed up. At the same time, we are, well, just flooring this place in and getting doors in. Ooh, there's still a fair bit of radiation over this side, but you know what? We can just put a few extra igneous rock tiles over that. Should sort it right out. Uh, as well as that, we've got a bit of a problem down here. We're, we're ending up with too much water. Kind of knew this was going to happen eventually, but it's become problematic now. So I'm thinking, yeah, we can just run that back like that. Done. That will get rid of... 20, 35 tons. That'll store 35 tons of water out of the way just for now. And back here. Oh god, it's gonna take a while to finish these gas pipes, isn't it? Don't worry. They'll get it done in a while. It's just one of them has zero construction skill. The only reason we brought them over is so they could wrangle up these Drekos. I know, I know. Not the smartest move, but we've got a little bit of time left anyway. I think we are just about done. Perfect. That is a gas pipe all the way up to the top. That means we can dump all the carbon dioxide, all the chlorine, everything down here can get removed. And damn it, wrong button. Yep. Excellent. Well, with that done, we can now focus on well, getting our getting over here and getting access to some of the resources. Plus, I would like to send back some iron ore with this rocket. Also, maybe get our get our hands on some more algae. Reason being, well, the person we're leaving here has to somehow survive. So, hmm. I'm thinking what we do is this. We run we run across here. We can the hydrogen's easier to deal with. That floats up to the top, so we can vent that into space. The chlorine will have to slowly filter down through our base, burning everyone's eyes as it does so. So maybe if we just poke our way across the top here, then we can dig down through here and get into this area, which is slowly draining out. And maybe we can put in another gas venting system over here. But what I really just want to get is access to this mini pod so that we can just use it for printing out some maybe valuable resources here. After a little bit of deliberation, I've decided to run a power wire all the way up here and put ourselves in a mechanical airlock. I think this is how I used to first handle gases back when, well, back when it was harder to get my hands on the uh, the Atmos suits, or I didn't know as well how to get my hands on the Atmos suits. So what we'll do is we'll stick in a, an oxygen diffuser over here, we'll have ourselves a little airlock. I mean, some gases will get in, but it should still work okay. How much algae we got? 160 kilos. Wow, we have been burning through that at incredible pace. How much we got left in here? Nine tons. Though we do have to remember that nine tons has to get us home as well. Mm. Mm. Is there are more patches. Yeah, there's another patch of algae over here. In fact, let me have a quick look around. Looking here, there's some algae around, but I don't think there's enough to sustain a colony for very long. I think we kind of want to get in here, grab what we want and get out. So all we really want from this place is the Drekos, well, the oil would be nice, but we really only need it for the plastic. Hmm. Well, the only other way, well, we can come back and somehow tame this cool steam vent to use the water, but then we're going to need a cooling system and then we're going to need a food supply. I think we just take what we want and get out of here because otherwise, yeah, otherwise this is very, very expensive. And we're sort of still in a rush. We, we, we're not going to make uh, all the achievements in 365 cycles, but I'd like to get as close as possible.
Well, our progress is going pretty good. The plan is fairly obvious. We want to come down here as well. Why? Well, I'm not too sure, but I would like to also explore down the bottom here. And at the same time, gate activation. And uh, no one we want pip eggs. Yeah, we can print some pips here. They'll plant some seeds or do something, I'm sure. Plus, it, it keeps, you know, the animals spread out across multiple planets and makes me less likely to accidentally annihilate all of them. All right, well, we're basically slowly moving along and putting in oxygen diffusers as we go uh, because it just makes it less troublesome for us to have to keep running back and forward to breathe. God, I remember this is like the olden days when we had to do this, before the before Atmos suits, you know, before we learned how to beeline for Atmos suits. While we are slowly digging our way over here for no particular reason, uh, the minipod has actually activated and we've got the option to print eight Paku. Now, while it would be nice to sort of print them out here and use them as a sustainable food source of some sort, the only real pools of liquid we have are the water and the oil, both of which are too hot and would cook them. So, I think we just turn them into food and buy ourselves a little bit longer on this planet. I mean, we've got four tons of algae left and there's definitely more we're going to be able to dig out, so... All we really want to do is take out the iron ore and the Drekos, so I think, yeah, we just take the food. Eh, kill a lot of them. Where is it? Yep. There we go. Hey, anyone want to get those? Come on, guys. Ah, uh, here they go. Exit. Now, remember, take all of that fish meat back to the fridge. We're actually going to have to plug in the fridge just to make sure that lasts long enough. We're not even going to grill it up. They can eat the meat raw. We might have to disable their ability to use, um, oh, the berry sludge. Yeah, that's, hmm. Yeah, we'll take all the pack of fillet and meat back here. While digging down here, we found ourselves a little bit of a tasty opportunity. It turns out this, uh, sort of, oh, I don't know what you call this biome. It's the one that's basically full of granite and such like. It actually has broken through the abyss light here and it's touching the oil biome. This has actually cooled this area down enough or absorbed enough of the heat from it that this place is only 50 or 60 degrees. That means we can go in here and grab some diamond. I would like to bring some of that home. That's very useful. Not only that, this is uh, the Badland style biome. So it actually has refined iron. That's iron ore right there. That actually not iron, sorry. Iron. Refined iron. We can just dig that up and use that directly. Yes. Yes, please. There's, is that, this planet's turned out to be quite good. I wish we had brought more people though. It's taking a little bit too long otherwise. I've also left uh, this area over here for them to do while uh, Brendan focuses on this section. Do any of you guys actually want to... Oh, tugboat... I don't think tugboat can build. They've got it an... Yeah, they're unconstructive. Which means the only other person that can build is the one that's going around doing all of the chores, like filling up the uh, the algae, algae diffusers and all that. It's kind of annoying, but they'll get... Oh, dear Lord, look at that. They came all the way over here and need to turn around and go back to east. Yeah, travel distance is also becoming a little bit of a problem. But it's fine. It's fine. We're almost done. Well, the great excavation can continue over there, and over this side, I think it's time we upgraded Brendan. They're not going to be able to dig diamond otherwise. Actually, Brendan, how is your morale? Your morale is grand. You know what? That's fine. Super hard digging it is. You can now dig out diamond and obsidian. You'll probably have to run to the gateway real quick, but that's pretty close by. Now that this area is now oxygenated, we somehow managed to make this place, like, semi-livable? I wouldn't say wonderfully livable, but livable enough that no one really minds too much. The hard part is going to be dragging all of this stuff back. I, I thought I was going to be leaving one person here, but now we're sort of bringing everyone back, plus a whole bunch of resources, plus the Drekos? That's... that's going to get pretty cramped on that ship. We now have access to diamond. 574 kilos of this stuff. We're rich! We're rich! <laughs> yeah, funny there was something to actually spend it on in this world. Um, okay, let's see. We're also going to want to take out that iron. We're close to... I think we're close to stripping this place, though. Mm, actually, no, there's two giant blobs of iron ore right there I'd really like to get my hands on. And what are you doing over there, Draco? Ah, you're elderly. Please tell me you didn't drop an egg out there. You you best not have dropped an egg out there. Yeah, you know what? We'll let that one stay out there. You can stay out there. It's just fine. We'll, we'll finish off what we're doing in here. With this done, well, I'm getting greedy. I'm thinking we got some crude oil that's cool enough here that we could dump a liquid pump in it and start using it. And I'm thinking we could make some plastic. I mean, we've got plenty of coal, we've got plenty of resources nearby, and we could churn out enough plastic. If we could bring back four or even 600 kilos of plastic, hell, even 200 would do, we could build ourselves a steam turbine cooling system and actually provide cooling for our base. Instead of... Where, we could take this metal refinery and just chuck it under a steam turbine or two and start producing as much as we need in terms of refined metals. Oh, and over here. Yeah, this is our storage tanks for cold water so that we can run it through the metal refinery. 
This is our very, you know, jerry-rigged solution to try and get things done until we got our hands on plastic. But any overflow from this, that all gets sent over across here and back to our liquid storage tank, which is now, oh god, about to overflow again. Um, yeah, is this, is this about to, no, active for another 8.4 cycles, active for 41 cycles, and you are active for 43 cycles. Hmm, I think we're gonna need more water storage. Uh, yep, that can go right about there. We'll deconstruct those and chuck down a bunch of liquid storage tanks. Perfect, perfect. I mean, I shouldn't be complaining. This is so much water, it's so handy, but it's just, uh, I'm, I'm kind of distracted at the moment on the other planet. Over here, we're putting together another steam engine. Why not? Uh, this, never mind, made a bit of a change. What we've done here now is we've set up an automation port on the gas vents. So we're going to have this so that we pump out the steam as we need it. The steam fills up the rockets, and then when the rockets inevitably back up and there's too much steam in the pipes, we just let the rest of the steam vent into outer space instead of leaving it in the pipes to break. And I was before just having a, a gas pipe hooked up to it, and then I'd turn it on and off, or I'd connect up the pipe as needs be and then deconstruct it. But this seems like a saner, more reasonable plan, probably. Oh, and we should probably have you go up a little bit more. There, much better. That will make a much prettier rocket. I'm still a bit torn on what to do with this. I kind of want to send a small little colonization force over to Ikeon so we can get our hands on gold amalgam. That gold amalgam we can combine with oxygen to make oxalite to make our rockets so much simpler. We don't even need that much of it. Hmm. I think that might be our next step, but I also want to send out a rocket to start exploring for the other planets as well. Uh, and over here, we're almost done. Well, no. The question is whether or not we want to produce plastic. I think we do. The other option is to go back home immediately, take all the drip, well, take all the resources we want out of here, namely the iron ore, the iron, a whole bunch of drecos, and then start farming up the drecos into plastic drecos, or glossy drecos, so that we can get plastic out of them. I'm thinking we can bring home just enough plastic to get us, you know, started. Maybe get a, a couple of mini gas pumps, some steam turbines, that type of stuff. Yeah, I think I kind of want to stay and grab that. That just makes more sense to me. But I am, yeah, I'm, I'm out of time again. Oh yeah, I am going to cut this out here. I think next up is going to be a little bit of plastic here, finish cleaning out this planet, and then start colonizing Ikeon so that we can uh, get ourselves uh, our hands on some gold amalgam. Anyway, I'm going to uh, cut this out here. I hope you enjoyed and good luck.